We started off with some trials in the summer um, where we got an open trial for all clubs um, to come down to Donnybrook and, and show us what they had I suppose and from that we've whittled it down from 45 over the summer um, down to our final 30 now for the Interpro squad. So first up we have uh, Ulster in Donnybrook on the 10th of December and then following that we're playing Munster on the 17th and that's at home uh, in Donnybrook as well. We have a couple of girls coming from under 18, they've just played with Leinster this year um, and then across the board I guess we have girls, uh, they wouldn't be AIL, they'd be playing down in Leinster Division 1 and Division 2, some really really good talent there. Definitely the girls have more experience and it's so good to be surrounded with the best of the best and players who have international caps that I would have been used to looking at on the TV, getting to play with them and seeing their tips and being alongside them really just ups the standard at training sessions and it's a really good thing to strive to be better each training session. When I came at the start I was very nervous, so like kind of more mentally than physically I'd say it was very like, oh they're not going to show, I don't, I didn't think I was going to click with the team, but um, I have and I'm just delighted. After I finished my underage season with Leinster, I was kind of like, oh, shit, this is it now. I'm not going to go anywhere else because the gap is just huge. Like, But I'm just like to be here, yeah. Pablo Boyle and Gorias, I was like, I'm definitely going to see you in the Blue Jars in a few years' time. I was like, you stop. Like, because I was always so big into GAA. And I was like, no, she like, it's like to my mum and dad. No, she's definitely going to play. Like, she's definitely going to play in the Blue Jars. I was like, oh, my God. Like, but yeah, no, I'm delighted. And so, here you are now. And here I am now, yeah. It's such a good feeling being on the pitch and hearing the crowd cheering you on. They don't even realise how much it does for you and that sort of atmosphere is really what drives the team on. I mean, we're here training in an empty stadium every week, but to have that full with people roaring would really just bring it to the game.